Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comps, and today on the bench I have a radio kit. This is the Micro Bit X. The Micro Bit X is a HF single sideband and CW all band transceiver. It's a QRP transceiver. You can see the price point right here. It's $139 shipped. And like I said, it just came in today. We're going to go ahead and unbox it. Essentially, it's a soup to nuts HF radio kit. Now, those of you who have built kits in the past know that some of them can be more complicated than others. This is a pretty doggone simple kit when you look at it. And here's our webpage. Um, it's hfsignals.com. And you can see the details here. And you can see that's where your buy link is. I paid the additional ten dollars. It was one thirty-nine because I got the uh, DHL shipping, which gets it to you apparently about two weeks quicker. And you can see ten watt HF single sideband CW. Now it does say it's ten watts up to ten megahertz, and then above ten megahertz to like twenty-one megahertz, it's seven watts, and then when you get up to like twenty-eight megahertz, it's like two watts. So. And like I said, I haven't put it on the air yet, but once we assemble it, we'll put it on the service monitor and see what it does. And apparently it's already aligned, so uh, as far as the RF board goes, essentially what they do is they have a jig they plug these things into and test everything before they ship it out, which makes a lot of sense. And you can see here's a lot of changes, and there's a, a whole ton of people who have done things to these uh, radios, so... There's a lot of uh, other folks out there playing with these. Now, one of the big drawbacks to a kit such as this is, is it does not come with any kind of housing or the knobs. So, what I've done is, and I haven't received it yet, is I have a 3D printed housing that came with the knobs and a 3D printed microphone housing. Once that gets here, I'll start putting it together, but we'll go over the components that it does come with. And, you know, you could probably assemble it inside of a box like this if you chose to. Uh, of course... It would be preferable to put it into a, uh, a metal enclosure. However, a uh, plastic enclosure should give fine service. And if it doesn't, then I'll just have to make a metal enclosure. So anyway, let's open it up here and look at it. You got a components list here of all the goodies it comes with that are inside here. You have your bag of small parts. Now that we've removed the bubble wrap here, we can see we have our display right here and it interfaces with this board and there's our Arduino Nano right there which is your CPU and you can see there's your programming port and there's a variety of different uh, firmware options it comes with generic firmware in it there's some other people that have come up with different types of firmware you can upload into it and it's a pretty simple process to do such and here we have our main board and as you can see our main board is already assembled I mean we've got just about everything done in there so anybody that's built kits before knows that winding your toroids usually takes a considerable amount of time and that this has already got all that done makes a, all the difference in the world Go ahead and open our small bag here and get all of our small parts out. Okay, now we've got all our parts organized, and I like to use a muffin tin for these kind of projects to kind of break everything up. The only thing we're down is is one of these nuts. They packed one wrong nut. This is a two millimeter nut. It should have been a three millimeter, but you know we'll survive without that. I probably have one in a parts box somewhere else. Wiring instructions are free on the website. Uh, just download them and print them out, and they are just wiring instructions. Uh, if you build a radio kit before, this is a, a very simple kit. Uh, if you haven't built a radio before, uh, if you've built model kits as a child and you know how to solder, this should not be a difficult kit for you. And it might be a good first-timer kit, in my opinion. So that's about it for right now until my housing kit gets here. It should be here in about three days, I believe, uh, according to the post office. And, I mean, if I wanted to start building it right now, essentially just build it on the bench or put it in a cigar box or a cake pan or some of the other ways you've seen these things build if you've 
looked at the stuff online. I could certainly do so now. However, I've already paid for the housing, all custom made for it. So, and like I said, I believe that shipped everything was like fifty dollars. So, you know, for less than two hundred dollars, I'll have like a little uh, HF QRP radio, which is really cool. So, I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.